Okay guys, so in this video, let's install Node.js and then we'll be installing PM2 and we'll be starting PM2 as the service here. And basically PM2 is the process manager for Node applications, which persists the applications on reboot. And it also automatically starts those applications on failover. So that's why we are going to install PM2 as well in this video itself. Because installation of Node.js is super simple to do inside uh, this uh, Linux instances. So here I'll be showing you two ways to install Node.js on your system. Okay, so first let's install Node.js using DNF. That is the package manager again. So since we are logged in as the sudo user, so whatever commands we issue, we will issue it with the sudo prefix keyword. So I'll say sudo uh, DNF module list node.js because if i directly do dnf install node.js then it will install the default version and that is version 10 and we do want to install at least node.js version 14 so therefore we are uh, listing all the modules of node.js or all the versions of node.js present so let's issue this command and let's see that what do we have here so we see here that here for node.js we have these many streams that is the 10 12 and 14 and 10 is the default version here because it's uh, written d here and then uh, you never wanted to use uh, this odd numbered node.js version because they are only for development purposes so what we need to install we need to install this node.js 14 so what we need to do here firstly we need to enable this node.js 14 here so we'll do sudo dnf module enable node.js colon 14 and we'll press uh, we'll pass in hyphen y to enable it silently so now this module has been enabled that is node.js 14 and now we need to install it so we'll issue the same command but without instead of the enable keyword we'll in, we'll pass in install instead of enable that is sudo dnf module install node.js 14 hyphen y to install it silently let's press enter and it will take a couple of seconds to install and it would be done in a moment or so so it's one by four two by four three by four four by four whatever it is so it's complete so let me clear the screen first and now if i do node hyphen v oh we see that we have installed uh, node.js 14.16.0 and if i do npm hyphen v we see that we have installed npm version 16.14.11 so this is how you install node.js using dnf uh, dnf as the package manager but instead if you wanted to install uh, node.js 14 using snapd that is a package manager again which we installed in the previous videos so what you needed to do you needed to simply issue this command that is sudo snap install node and then we need to install it in the classic mode and then we need to pass in the channel number that is 14 and this will install node.js 14 on your machine so instead of listing all the mo node.js modules using the dnf thing you can simply issue this command that is sudo snap install node classic and channel number and it will install node.js 14 on your machine using snapcraft but uh, we have already done that using dnf so i'm omitting this thing here so now what we need to do we need to install a couple of global packages or uh, rather we want to install pm2 globally so what i'll do i'll simply say npm install or npm i hyphen g pm2 but this command will fail because we are installing this package globally and our current user uh, need to issue this command uh, for global purposes as sudo and this is about to fail so we need to reissue this command as sudo user or with the sudo prefix keyword so we would be getting an error message here in a moment or so so we see that we get this error message that is we cannot install it so what we need to pass here let me clear out the screen so instead of npm install hyphen g pm2 what we needed to do we needed to do it this way that is sudo npm install hyphen g pm2 and this will install pm2 globally and now pm2 has been installed we can verify it using pm2 hyphen v and we see we have installed this version that is 5.1.0 so now let me clear out the screen once again okay so that pm2 has been installed globally on our system so what we needed to do here is this that we need to start pm2 as a service so that whenever the server reboots pm2 should be automatically restarted because our applications are managed by pm2 that is the process manager so what will happen is this on a reboot is this that as soon as the system comes online the pm2 service would be started and in turn pm2 would be starting our applications which are managed by pm2 so let's create a startup script for pm2 so now to create a startup script what i need to do i need to simply do pm2 startup uh, like this 
and in case you wanted to pass in your own system d thing you can simply use it like this that is you can pass in the current system that is system d in our case which manages services here inside CentOS or you can simply pass in CentOS in instead of system d or if you are using ubuntu you can pass in ubuntu here instead of system d and then you can pass in a flag here that is hyphen u that is the user under which you want to start the service that is called killer in this case and then you need to provide in the home path here by hyphen hyphen hp and this is the home path here but instead what i'm i'm doing here is that that i'm simply trying to create a command which will start pm2 as a service here and if i do not pass in any arguments here it will give us or tell us which command to issue to generate the startup script or the startup service here so i'll simply do pm2 startup simply like this and press enter and we see that to set up the startup script or oh, we need to simply copy and paste the following command so let's simply copy it and let's simply paste it here and let's simply press enter and we see that uh, this uh, script is generated here that is this service has been generated which start with this unit thing here and ends by this uh, wanted by multi user or target thing so now if I do uh, system CTL or uh, let me clear the screen first. So if I do system CTL status PM2 killer, oh, we see that the service is loaded, but it is inactive and it is uh, a reason or it is because of SELNX how it manages services and it is a flaw with PM2 that they have not managed or taken into account for SELNX because the way they keep their PID files, it is inside the a user's directory or the root directory of the, uh, or the home directory of the current user that is killer but instead they should be inside a forward slash run directory but you don't need to know anything about that you to simply fix this issue what you need to do you need to switch back as the root user so let me simply quit and let me simply switch to the root user here and now let me clear out the screen and now what you'll do you'll simply follow the commands which i paste here and your script that is the pm2 service would be up and running so firstly you need to do system ctl start pm2 hyphen killer like this and now this would time out so let's wait for a couple of seconds more and this is uh, this is sure to be timed out and then we'll see the details that what we need, needed to do actually to fix this issue here and don't worry about all this stuff because in my github repo i'll be providing the exact same thing that is how to fix this issue on centos because if you are using ubuntu then the service would be up and running in no time and in centos this is a problem or rather this is a feature or a great feature that is it is uh, this se linux thing that is security and enhanced linux is uh, like uh, not allowing pm2 or the service system d to execute the home path or the home directory of the current user that is scalar so let's wait for a couple of more seconds here so we see that uh, this uh, pm2 killer dot service is failed because of a timeout and that's what i said initially so let's use this command that is journal ctl hyphen xc for details so let me simply copy this command from here and let's see that what get details do we get here and we see here that is this is an issue with sa linux that is preventing from open access so let me minimize this font size so we see that to fix this issue, they are providing us with these commands that is au search hyphen systemd and so and so forth. So let's simply copy this command and I'll provide this command in the description below of this video. So let's simply uh, press Q and let's simply issue this command here. And let me simply press enter here. And now to make this policy active, what I needed to do, I needed to paste in this command. So let me copy this command or you can simply copy and paste this command, but I'm simply copying and pasting this command here. So let me paste it here and uh, it might take a couple of seconds to issue this command and this is how it works so finally the command execution finished so let's try to start the pm2 service again so let me clear out the console once again and let me try to start the service that is pm2 killer service once again by doing system ctl start pm2 hyphen killer and this time again it is about to be filled because this is the way it works and you need to issue the same command twice so again i am trying to start it but it is again going to be timed out and again we will see that how do we fix it so we see that this again failed and it is timed out so let's again see the details by doing journal ctl hyphen xc let's press enter and we see that uh, oh we are not getting anything thing here maybe 
So we see that uh, it has failed to read the dump file in some uh, some folder here, and that is again because of uh, this uh, thing here that is called uh, SELNX. So again, what we need to do here is that that we again need to issue the same command that is the command which we used below. That is, uh, or let me clear up the screen first and let me paste in the command here. So this the same command we need to issue once again. And again, I'm telling you that I'll be providing this command in the description below. So let's press enter and to make this policy active we again need to copy this command and paste it here and most likely this time if I'll try to start PM2 service it would be started. So let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope for the best. So now what I'll do I'll simply do system ctl start PM2 hyphen killer and if everything goes well it should be started in no time and yes i suppose that the service has started and it really took a lot of time but let's see the status here that is system ctl status pm2 killer and now we see that finally our pm2 killer service is up and running and it is active and it is loaded and it is enabled so this is how you enable pm2 service on CentOS using ac linux so so that's all about this video and again i'm telling you that uh, the, you need to simply issue two commands and i'll provide that in the github repo and as well as in the description below how to start pm2 killer as a service or pm2 as a service in your centos distributions running ac linux so guys that's all about this video so see you in the next video and we'll be starting a node.js application using pm2